Welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 2 Resurrected with me, Jerupidus. And now, I only had like an hour to play yesterday, so the quest that we're on right now, Mala asked us to go find Anya under the Crystalline Passage by the Frozen River because we think Nilithak is up to something with her. Like, maybe he's offering her to bail or something like that. He's definitely up to something. However, uh, because I had to save and quit, that means that the Bloody Foothills have been completely reset, and I may want to go run those again. And then we also need to take the portal to the little portion of hell called Abaddon. So right now, I want to get rid of this shield. Uh, the one we have is just better. And I don't think I'm going to socket this. So let's get that out of our stash. Probably hang on to that for now. But it seems unnecessary to hang on to that shield anymore, so let's get rid of it. And I could probably use a couple potions before I hit the road, but I think what I'm going to do is run the Bloody Foothills again. Good afternoon. And then I will just check in with you if anything cool happens. But otherwise, we're just going to farm some XP because we are at level 29. And we'd kind of like to be in the 30s for this act. So we should actually get a level up pretty quickly out here. So we'll just pop back in if I find anything cool. Otherwise, I'll see you when we get near Abaddon. All right, well, we haven't found anything good from monsters yet, but Larzac does have something pretty interesting for sale. Now, this is a full 10% better uh, magic find-wise. Uh, I will lose some fire resist and lifesteal, but I think I'm going to take them for now. We'll hang on to the rares. Uh, it's just, like, it, it is a uh, better piece of gear, but I think I just want to hone in on magic find for right now. And we'll throw these in the stash. And I actually think I'm going to buy this, too. It's got 140 defense and 21 more life. It's a small amount of life, but I think I like the defense. It's 38 more. Let's go with it. All right, I think that's enough shopping for now. Oh, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention is we did find a double-socketed gothic plate, which might be interesting, but I'll have to look into what exactly I can even do with that. But I think I'm going to hang on to it for now. And we're still working towards uh, Shank again, so I'll check back in if anything oh, cool happens. So we finally cleared out the uh, Bloody Foothills and the Frigid Highlands. Nothing of note really happened. Our Shank drops were total garbage, but we did level up. So why don't we throw a point in our uh, concentration? We're getting close to wanting to go with Holy Shield, but I think I'm just going to finish up concentration first. Um, but that's definitely a possibility of something we're going to want to get sooner than later, I would say. And we haven't gone Vitality in a while. Why don't we get some more life? And let's get in there and uh, do something we haven't done yet. Get down to Abaddon. And I think this stuff is really cool. Like, there's these portals to hell, which makes sense because it's a, uh, you know, hellish siege. And so these would kind of explain where they get their reinforcements from. And it's just a very sensible way to do, like, extra dungeons. I just love it. Like I said, this expansion is just brimming with inspiration. In armor. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, okay, cool. So we're finally getting, um... This is obviously the same asset as leather armor, but it's like a whole nother uh, difficulty higher, sort of. If that makes sense. This would be something that would drop on, like, Nightmare. Pretty cool, though. I will say this, I spent most of my time with this game before Lord of Destruction came out, so I'm a little bit less familiar with some of the stuff, or some of the stuff will at least be, like, newish to me. Can't get through that way, huh? Interesting. That's, like, bizarre to me. <laughs> I just can't get through there. I guess maybe I can go around. So 
because I am very, very interested in killing all those demons stuck behind that cart. Yeah, I can't get through there either. Weird. I see. Here we go. Let's get him. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Get as many hammers in the air as possible. Boom. All right. That wasn't so bad. I got a little scared there. I felt like I was in danger of getting stunlocked, but it seemed okay. All right. Anything else cool? Not really. Let's keep going. And right now, I am in the market for checking out things that drop that are socketed. That one is obviously no good. I can't put a rune word in that, but we'll be interested in making a rune word uh, fairly soon here. I have to say, those cart barriers really, really confused me. <laughs> Bunch of mana potion drops, I love that. Yeah, I was all excited to uh, run the Bloody Foothills again, just because yesterday I found like three set pieces, and today I found absolutely nothing. <laughs> Even with slightly more magic find. That is just the way it goes, though, you never know. Alright, there's our glowing chesty, let's grab it. A throwing spear, boo. <laughs> This way, okay. That is just such a bizarre way to do that. Like, it, it does look like you could just walk around it, right? <laughs> it's just a really silly way of making barriers. You could use anything else. But, like, a silly cart just blocks this uh, legendary hero's way. It's just classic video game stuff. Alright, is that the whole thing? Just the one glowing chest? Sounds good to me. Let's get out of here. All right. Now, the rest of this is clear, so we can head into the next area and see if we can't find that uh, crystalline passage. And we got some minions over here right off the bat. Let's get concentration on. High back the unleashed. Let's put him back on his leash, shall we? All right, we are super full up, so I think it's time to Town Portal before we head any further. All right. A brand new area. I'm excited. Ooh, let's not leave behind these magic items, though. You know what? It's been, like, a long time since we found an actual unique. And you'd think with all this magic find, we might find something, but it's been pretty dry so far. But here we are in the area plateau. And I'm hoping that river's gonna be somewhere around here. I need mana. Uh, I'm so glad to not have to deal with the uh, teleporter guys, at least for the time being. We got another hell portal, right? Pit of Acheron. We're definitely going to do that. And I think this time, in an effort uh, not to have to come back for it, we're just going to do it right away. Clean up some of this area a little bit. Ooh, here's a unique one with a Might Aura. 
mold shield. <laughs> Bro, just wash your shield. Yeah, it turned out that mold did not make a very good shield for him. Okay. Man, that death animation on these guys is so cool. Look at that. <laughs> so I was kind of messing around with the uh, old school graphics, and I have to tell you, man, this game is so ugly on the original graphics. It's like unreal. And I hope that you understand that coming from me that's saying something. Like, I find old pixel art and stuff pretty beautiful. I love retro games. And I uh, flipped it over to the old graphics and I was like, oh my god, this game was horrific looking. <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that, but we are definitely going to do a whole, uh, a whole episode like that. But I think we'll wait until we've seen everything, like, through a full playthrough. And then maybe when we're messing around redoing acts and stuff. I still have some things to say, so I think it'll still be fun. Some observations to make about the earlier acts that I didn't manage to get in uh, when we first did them. Uh, but when we've already seen it, I think we can uh, check it out with the old graphics. I think that'll be a good time to do it. I'm just enjoying these new ones so much, it's hard to turn them off, honestly. I have to admit, these helm pits are super fun. It's nice to, uh... Have it connect to things that you've seen before, like hopping back into hell where we've already been. Through these portals on the battlefield, it's just such a great idea. Boy, there's a lot of stuff out here, huh? I did actually run out of keys while I was uh, rerunning the Bloody Foothills and whatnot, and it was just a horrific experience to not be able to open one of those stupid chests. So now whenever I hear a key drop, I'm like, oh, oh, good. <laughs> those look like minions, maybe. I'm gonna back up. I'm actually taking quite a bit of damage, and let's get our belt right. Ooh, we are out of uh, mana potions. Let's get back to town. All right, time to cleanse this hell pit with holy hammers. Holy hammers is probably what they shout when they uh, see me coming. <laughs> Field plate, you say. Let's check that out. 102, only one socket. Okay. Too bad. Uh, one thing I should mention is that some of your endgame stuff is gonna be rune words, right? And so Magic Find is kind of this double-edged sword where, like, when you have a lot of Magic Find, you're much more likely to find magic items. <laughs> Tell, let me know if you need me to slow down. So, uh, what that ends up is that you have a harder time finding just regular socketed things. Which can kind of be a detriment when you're looking for a specific sort of item to drop that's socketed. So you actually want to have like a uh, a way of kind of turning your magic find off while still having good equipment. But a lot of the stuff that you're going to hear about like that is like super, super endgame stuff. Most of the guys on the internet you're going to see, they're going to be like, yeah, so you got your Enigma plate and this and that, and like that's like for when you're level 80, 90, stuff like that. Not a lot uh, gets discussed about sort of middle game stuff that we're doing. Uh -oh. 
and there's certainly very little focus on the story as well. So I'm kind of hoping that, uh, at least for this LP, this portion of it, we can fill in those blanks a little bit. Uh, some blanks I'm hoping to fill in are some of my uh, <laughs> equipment slots. We have some truly mediocre stuff on us still. But the good news is we're only level 30, and I feel like things are coming along at a reasonable enough pace. Okay, so let's run around and grab all the money. I can't carry anymore. That large charm could be sweet. Get as many potions in our belt as we can, so we can finally fit lots and lots of them. Have I mentioned how happy I am about that? Because I am very, very happy about that. <laughs> All right, let's sell this crap off. And with this particular corner of hell cleared out, we can get out of here. All right, back to the plateau to look for that river. So many healing potions, look at this. I always get excited when I see spike shields because uh, the very last build I did many, many years ago before I uh, stopped playing this game was a uh, smited in build. And so having those shields that add extra smite damage is pretty sweet. So you're always like on the lookout for a really good uh, spike shield or something along those lines. Kind of ramparts, huh? All right, well, let's back up a little bit and fill in the rest of the map. I really, really love Act Five. Most of these areas are just exactly what you want as a Diablo player. Wow, we already leveled up again. That's so sweet. <laughs> Let's get another point in concentration after I deal with these guys here. Every level up we get is going to count. Because some of the things we have coming up are truly challenging. Yeah, we can go more Vitality. Can never really go wrong with Vitality. And I feel like we're fairly caught up on Strength, and I don't want to go too deep into Strength. You should obviously plan ahead. So that you can equip uh, the things that you want to be able to wear by the time you're getting them. But here's the thing. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, come on. Can I just please hit this thing? There we go. I'm going to wait until I get something that I want, and then I will put uh, points into strength after the fact. Which is not the most efficient way of going about things, but it is the way that I'm going to go about it. <laughs> Ooh, a heraldic shield? Maybe it'll be good. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm 
kind of able to travel a surprising distance this way. I'm, I find that curious. I feel like we gotta back off and hit town. Okay, we're ready to rock. I did hear a gem over here. Yep. Demon hide boots. So these are gonna be the uh, like basic boots, but now they have 35 defense and are required level 24. So the kind of equipment progression, asset-wise, starts over, but has cool new names and much much better stats, obviously. Socket, huh? I have no idea what that's even supposed to mean. <laughs> Ooh, but some magic demon hide gloves is kind of interesting. Our uh, fashion sense may take a little bit of a hit for a while. Ooh, and there's my waypoint. Perfect. Oh, wait a minute. There's a cave over here. I didn't even notice that. Crystalline passage. That's what we're looking for. Oh, but for now, why don't we clear out this whole area? Rare heavy gloves. Those are going to be garbage, but I'll pick them up anyway because I can't resist. Topaz, nice. Can I hit it? Yes! <laughs> Trying to get slightly better with my positioning to hit those doors. It's really, really tedious to like switch to your regular attack. It's also kind of a rude awakening how bad it is. <laughs> compared to your hammers that just absolutely melt everything. I don't want to use that yucky regular attack. <laughs> it's horrible. There we go. Whoa. That is going right through that. There we go. <laughs> I was like, what is the meaning of this? Okay. So we just have a little bit more top left, it looks like. And then we can go find out what's going on with Anya. And I am very interested in doing that because the reward for this quest is going to be real, real sweet. I can promise you that. I just love Act 5 so much. Giant mobs are what you want. Giant mobs and room to run around. Oh, why am I not hitting that? There we go. 
I tell you what, I would be lost without Ilzan. Thank you, Ilzan. Okay. Man, this place is just huge. Look at this. But that's also part of the reason that level ups are coming so fast, is just how numerous the mobs are in Act 5. It's just the best. build up best we can anyway There's even more to the top left, huh? Let's get over there. got it most of the way filled in. So I'm just going to give this place a quick once-over, and then we'll head into that passage. All right, so we're stocked up on potions, sold off all our uh, junk, and now it's time to head into the Crystalline Passage. Let's go. There's a well, but we can leave that for now. Ilzan levels up. Love that. All kinds of new enemies in here. And a cold resist shrine. I feel like that's going to be decent in here. I was just thinking, I might wish that I had more cold resist in here, but we'll see, I guess. Gothic Blade, how many sockets do you have? Oh, you're just ethereal? Get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Dude, these guys are so damaging. Oh my god. I gotta run. Look at how fast he is. Okay, we're healed up. That was crazy. Alright, let's make sure we're good to go here. Those champions were not messing around. That is terrifying. I am glad we managed to uh, grind out an extra level or two, because I probably would have been dead if I was a level or two lower. Man, I probably had like less than 100 hit points left. That was scary. I will say this, we have had actually kind of a lot of close calls, but I'm pretty proud of myself for having not died yet. That is, of course, maybe not something I want to be saying out loud, because when you do things like that, it's like the game can hear you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the circlet? I actually want to check that out. Two sockets? I think I'm going to hang on to that. These are good. They have a, like, no strength requirement? I mean, it can be quite good. So I'm going to hang on to that, I think. I think that makes sense. We may want to see what we can make out of that. Once again, I don't know every rune word off the top of my head. In fact, I don't know, like, basically any of them. <laughs> but fortunately, I can just look them up. There are actually, like, kind of a surprising number of them. That I don't think anyone could be reasonably expected to have every single one memorized. Kind of wish I still had my Resist Cold Shrine, but we'll be alright without it. Alright, just doubling back a little bit. This is so cool. I love the way these they make these places look like ancient ruins, kind of. Like, it looks like there was some sort of kind of civilization going on down here. Or at the very least, it was like a storage area or something. Things like that I just find, like, tantalizing to the imagination. I checked that gothic plane already. Those not hitting him. <laughs> you know what I wish? I wish we could get our hands on like a good charm. Like I was looking over my charms and like these are all just trash. <laughs> like they don't matter. Uh, what? There we go. Yeah, that's... I mean, the extra fire resist is fine for now. Couldn't hurt. My fire resist is actually pretty high. Let's check this out. It's at 58. And then we're 10, 20, 20 for the rest, which is not actually very good. But we're kind of foregoing that for now for uh, more magic find. Which I think makes sense to do unless you're really struggling with a boss monster. Then you may want to rethink some things. But beyond that, my mindset is just that, like, you can never have enough magic find. Particularly early in the game. When you're kind of just subsisting off of stuff you find. Ah, the waypoint? Sweet! Coming right along with those. How many are left? Boy, five more? This act is long. And I love it. I love every second of it. Alright, are these champions just gonna absolutely crush me? Not really. I do like all the mana potions, though. That will belay a uh, town trip for a little while. I actually think I want this scroll of Identify. Why not? Ah, there's the Frozen River. Okay, sweet. Let's finish up the uh, Crystalline Passage, though. dead end over here, so there can't be too much more.
evil urn, you say? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I had no idea what that was gonna do. That was cool. Only healing potions? I hate that. I do like the gems, though. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. One of the nice things is that these uh, regular gems are starting to drop, like, pretty frequently. Let's get back to town. And so I'm going to put away this circlet, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So I could do, like, a double magic find if I get a, if I get my hands on another perfect topaz, which I will, you know, just give it enough time. And that would be, like, a solid 48. That could be pretty sweet. Certainly better than what I'm wearing now, and not even that much less defense, right? But we'll want to do something like that eventually. All right, let's just finish up this area. So that would be to the Glacial Trail, but that's not where we want to go just yet. All right, here we are in the Frozen River. Let's find Anya. Those remind me of the uh, succubuses from the original Diablo. I'm into it. Whoa, 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 okay. Yeah, I mean, we are uh, kind of getting beat up here. Want to watch it. Got to watch those curses. Let's check this thing out. Meh. It is the uh, next iteration of Scepters, though. Alright, looks like we can't get across this way, so let's double back. Those Rottwalkers are just laughably slow. <laughs> help that guy out with a uh, bigger aura or something. Oh boy, here we go. Refurn the quick. Well, let's make this quick. Bam. I just can't get over how slow those guys are. I just want to fill out right over here. As I suspected, nothing there. anyone could possibly have survived down here, right? I will take that mana potion. Why not? Kind of a ghostly voice they make is definitely unsettling. I really like it. Avenger Guard, what is this? Ah, uh, barbarian stuff. Interesting. Uh, let's make sure our belt is filled up. I'm 
just in the worst spot imaginable. There we go. These are a cool callback to the brutes from the first act. I love it. They're like my favorite enemies from Act 1, so I'm always glad to see them. Evil Urn, let's go. Oh, what's the quest log say? Rescue Anya? Where is she? Nothing but teeny tiny spiders in that one. Okay. She must be over here. Rosenstein. <laughs> Fantastic name. All right. There she is. And she's trapped in the ice. All right, let's see what she has to say. Hero, Milithak did this to me. If you've come to help me, my only hope lies with Mala. Please, tell her you've found me. She looks super cold. Alright, let's talk to Mala. I do love uh, Ilozan just handling these uh, undead guys in the background. Alright, let's get back to town and talk to Mala then. See what she has to say, but we knew. We knew Nilothok did this. So, that snake Nilothok was behind Anya's disappearance, and he trapped her with a freezing curse. Here, take this potion to Anya and give it to her. That should release her. Yep, let's get her out of there. Use the potion Mala gave you to thaw Anya, and that's gonna be... Mala's potion. Keep it to thaw Anya. <laughs> Thanks, game. I will, but first let's identify our stuff. She can, uh, she'll hang on for a little bit, right? Alright, let's get her out of there. Alright, she made it back to town. And let's talk to Mala for our reward, and I'm interested to talk to, uh, Nilithak about all this. See what he has to say for himself. Thank you so much for bringing Anya back to us. I have devised this spell to increase your resistances as a token of my thanks. I know it isn't much, but I hope you find it helpful. Please, go talk to Anya. She has urgent news concerning Nilathok. Oh, I wonder if he's missing... But what's going to end up happening is it's going to permanently increase all resistances by 10. Yep, so scroll of resistance. So let's check out our uh, character sheet. And let's use it. Bam. And they will all be like that forever. And we're going to need that because, as I said before, when you change difficulties, your resistances take a penalty. But let's talk to Anya right now because, yeah, Nilathok is gone, right? You have proven yourself a true hero to me and my people. These are dark times, warrior. I hope you can bring an end to Bale's reign of destruction. Our Council of Elders is gone. My father asked among them. The one thing that keeps us from total despair is the promise of vengeance against Bale. Thank you, hero, for rescuing me. To show my personal gratitude, I give you this. I had it custom made for you by Larzak. Nilothok told me he struck a deal with Bale to protect Taraga. 
In exchange for the demon's mercy, the misguided fool plans to give Bale the relic of the ancients, our most holy totem. Doing so will allow Bale to enter Mount Ariat unchallenged by the ancients. I tried to stop Neolithak, but he imprisoned me in that icy tomb. Neolithak must be stopped before he dooms the whole world. As much as I would love to strangle the life out of him, I'm afraid I haven't the strength. You must go to his lair through this portal I've opened, kill him, and then bring back the relic of the ancients. Stop Neolithak from destroying what we have striven for eons to protect. Neolithak, you moron! <laughs> And so that's the uh, portal to Neolithok's temple that we're definitely going to want to take. This one's all wrapped up. And then the next one is the Betrayal of Haroga. Take Anya's portal to Neolithok's temple. And we are going to do that. Let's check out what she gave us, though. Oh, baby. Look at this thing. This is actually really good. Plus one to strength. All resistance is 19. Yep, that's better than what we have. Wow, awesome. Let's put it on. We still might want to hold on to this to throw a uh, gem in it. I think I'm not ready to part with it just yet. But let's throw it in our stash for now. Did we identify okay. all our stuff? We did. Okay, nothing on us? Great. We'll go put another shield in our stash that we'll probably end up never using. <laughs> we definitely want to be careful and keep it away from uh, socketed stuff. All right, and we'll go get after Nilithok with his uh, fool's bargain he struck with Bale, but that's going to have to wait until next time because I'm all out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.